In a recent Canva update, they've made this draw feature a prominent part of the left menu. And I understand what they're trying to do with this feature, but I actually think this tool in its current form is actually only really useful in one way. And that's creating things like this highlight here behind this gentleman that really makes him pop out from the background. But it actually takes an extra step now after the update to do this trick. So I'm gonna tell you all about how to achieve this trick to make images pop out from the background. But then I'm also gonna tell you where I think these draw tools are still lacking it can be improved and hopefully Canva will improve them in the future but so let's get into this and let's talk about this draw feature in Canva okay so first you're gonna find this draw option here in the left menu when you're working on desktop or on larger devices uh, if you're on mobile it's gonna show up in the bottom menu uh, when you go to add something to your design okay so here it is here but first of all it, it's a permanent part of this now and so everything down through apps here is a permanent part of the left menu currently that means i can click on it it's not going anywhere it's going to be in the left menu but if you didn't realize it some of these other things like videos backgrounds and everything below apps if you click on them now you can actually x them out so this is a way you can clean up your menu here and then if you ever want to add those things back you can go in under the apps menu and then if you want to add videos back you can add it back and it'll bring it back to the left menu so that's just a little tip before we get started here but this draw thing they've now made a permanent part of this menu here so i get the idea with this uh, they give you some different tools here so some sort of different style uh, markers here a highlighter is supposed to be a marker this is supposed to be more like a pen right there so you can click on any one of these tools and then once you have it you can come over here and you can you can draw with it on your design okay and so you hit Control Z to undo a keystroke, but so maybe you're just gonna make this guy look really surprised or something, or maybe you're gonna write a little text here. Uh, and then as you're doing it, you can come over here and you can change the color. So you can pick any color you want. You can come into your color palette, choose a new color, or just one, any one of the colors here. And then when you're drawing now, then suddenly you're gonna be drawing in this new color. Uh, you can also come down here, you can change the weight and the thickness, the transparency. Uh, but so if you wanted to make it thicker, you could choose between one of these default settings, or you can come in here and you can raise this up. And you can actually type a number. And I think right now, 100, is the biggest uh, you can do. So let's change this color so we can see it a little bit better. And now if I come over here, now I didn't change the color, let me try that again. Now if I come over here and I draw, I'm drawing with that new color. Okay, Control Z to clean up the mess I've made. So let me talk about my pet peeves with this now. I mean, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it so you can really easily come on here and you can do things. You could do some text. So let me just make my size smaller. Uh, but first of all, this was one of my big beefs here. If I come in here under size, uh, it's just showing me this little icon, this little pencil. I have no idea if this isn't open, what the actual size and weight is of my little drawing tip here. Uh, so even if I lower it down here, to something a lot smaller, I can't see that change here until I actually click. So I wish they would actually just make this instead of this little icon of a pen or a pencil, I wish they would just make it a circle that would change in size to let you know what you have selected here. So that's my, sort of my first pet peeve. And the second pet peeve would be when you're actually working in a program like Photoshop or Procreate or something like that, you have a keyboard shortcut or something you can do on the fly to normally change the size of your uh, sort of drawing device really quickly. So I wish I could use my bracket keys or some keyboard shortcut to, to do in essence what I do when I come in here. Because having to every time I wanna change size, come back and forth between the menu, this menu here, that's pretty annoying. So I find that annoying. And the other thing is here, you're just not gonna be able to create any really nice drawing in here uh, because it's really hard to draw when you're drawing with your mouse like here and there are also are just a limited number of options here we have like three different types of tips here but there aren't a lot of options and I get they're trying to make this really simple they're just trying to let you do simple things but I think they could do some basic things in here so the basic things to me would be make it really easy to change the size build in some sort of keyboard shortcut so I don't have to come over here to change my size the second thing would be when you're drawing out something like text you know, most people are gonna be working with, with a mouse, like a keyboard, uh, like a mouse on their computer. I have like a, a tablet, a Wacom tablet. So I actually have, and I have a Cintiq screen. So I actually can do some more traditional drawing in some other programs or in Procreate, I have Procreate on my iPad. 
But most people working in Canva like this, they're just going to be going with their, their mouse. And the reality is you can't do much with your mouse. Your hand is shaky. And so even if you just try to write out text here, it looks pretty bad. Let's just say I wanted to draw a circle. Let's just say I wanted to draw a squiggly line. They're not going to look very good. So if Canva just built in some sort of automated smoothing, you know, so you could have it more sensitive or less sensitive when you draw out your lines and you find this in other programs like Photoshop and Procreate, that would be very helpful. So those would be my two suggestions for them to immediately improve this, improve this tool. Just please give us some keyboard shortcuts for changing the cursor size. Change, change the icon from this pen to circle so we can immediately see what we're doing. And then also give, give us some sort of smoothing option. So if we want to draw something in here that looks halfway decent, you know, we don't have to spend forever just trying to like, you know, because it's, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. So those couple instant improvements, I think, would be great if Canva were to add those in. Okay, but let me just uh, get rid of all the stuff I just threw there on screen. So I'm just going to hit Control-Z a whole bunch of times to get rid of all the stuff I just did there. And Control-Z is just the same as coming up here and hitting this button. That's just a keyboard shortcut on here uh, on Windows, Control-Z. Okay, so now I have it back here. Uh, so let me just come out of this for a second. So let me just click on something else here and then I'll just come back over here just so we can click on screen. So we can see right now what I have is this element behind this gentleman here and you can see that he is a separate element from the background. So you probably know you can use Canva's background remove, remover tool if you're a pro uh, user to come in and edit image and for any image you can attempt to remove the background. So this gentleman has the background removed and then I can put him on a different background and then I can use something in between him in the background to really make him pop out from the background. So I have this sort of gradient, a circle radial gradient behind him. He stands out a lot from the background. So let me show you a couple different ways you can do this and let me show you how this is sort of the one way I do sometimes use this draw tool here inside of Canva. Okay, so I'm going to start by just duplicating this page here. So I'm going to duplicate this page and then I'll just copy. Let me just throw out this other stuff and let me throw out this element behind him. So we just have him isolated now in the background, but we want to make him pop out a little bit more from the, from the background by putting some sort of element behind him. Okay, so the first thing I could do is I could come under the ele elements menu. I could search for something like radial gradient and I actually have right now turned on out this cutout this cutout filter option on, so it's only gonna show me cutouts. So I could go find something like this, and I could drag this in, and then I have accidentally replaced the whole background, so let me just click on it again. Let me bring it over, and then I'm gonna use my control bracket key shortcut to move it behind them. And then I could position it in here, uh, and that sort of worked, you know, that's making them pop out from the background, that looks good. But this is somewhat limited because it has to be something you can find here with search. And of course you could then save your favorite elements so you could reuse them. So I would definitely use this method sometimes versus the method I'm gonna show you. But what about times where you, know, you wanna have all color options and you wanna be able to do a different shape from just a circle there. Maybe something that you're not gonna easily be able to find here in the search menu. Uh, this is where I used to use the draw tool. So I'm gonna show you how I used to use it, how you could still use it, but I'm gonna show you how now it involves an extra step, okay? So let me come in here and I'm gonna close that down a little bit. I'm actually gonna size him down for a little bit just so we can do this a little quicker, something like that. And then I'll just come over here to this draw tool. And so you could pick out any one of these. It doesn't really matter which one you choose. And the first thing I would do when I did something like this is choose whatever color I'm gonna want my highlight to be. So I'm gonna keep it as yellow for now. And then I'll come back over here and I always bump the size up as far as I can. And so something like a 100, okay? So then once I do that, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw roughly around him so I go just beyond him. And I'm not worrying about being perfect. And this is where, you know, when you're drawing with your mouse on a computer, it's not gonna be perfect. But because we're gonna blur this, it's not gonna matter, okay? So there, boom, boom. Now, the next steps are moving this behind our, our image and then blurring it. However, let me just exit out of this here, so I'll click on Uploads for a second. However, now if I click on this, with the Draw tool in the past, this used to come in with image-like properties, where if I come to my image now and I click on him, you have this Edit Image option, and then under the Adjust menu, you have this Blur option, because this is what we're gonna use to blur our image. However, now, I no longer have that Blur option. Now with the draw feature, instead of it coming in with image-like properties, it's more like a vector where I can come in and change colors, and that's cool, so maybe I wanted this to be you know, a little bit closer to white, maybe I even want it to white, be white, I can change uh, that very easily, but when I come to uh, blur it, I don't have that option. So the extra step that we now have 
is we need to be able to download this. We have to be able to download it and then re-upload it to Canva. So that's where I feel like the draw tool for this one particular thing has taken a step backwards. And then just for the other things, I don't feel like the draw tool is that useful yet because it's still too hard to do things and make them look good, make them be smooth, to easily adjust the size of your brush. It just doesn't work that easily. But we can still use this trick here. So I'll just duplicate this page. And then of course we wanna download this. So on this version of the page, Actually, let me try to duplicate that again. Now on this version of the page here, I'll just get rid of him. So I just have my thing here and then I'll go ahead and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go to share and I will download this. Now when I'm downloading this, I just want this page three. So I'm gonna go page three. So I'll come under my pages and make sure this is unchecked and just my current page is selected. And yes, I do want the transparent background. This is crucial because uh, we don't want that other background. So you do need this pro feature that you download as a transparent background. But so I'll go ahead and download, but before I do, I'm gonna just bring up my uploads thing here and let's make sure this transparent background is checked on. We'll go ahead and click download. We'll give it a second again. We'll just save it wherever, sure. And then again, we're immediately popping it back here into Canva and we can see, yes, now we know it's transparent because it, it has that no background there, okay? So now, once we've done that, we can get rid of the original here, get back to where we just have our photo, which actually we have right up here on this layer, and then we pop this back in. Uh, don't worry about the size, because we can resize it. We can even do things like drag in our crop handles there, bring it down like this, and then I'm just gonna bring it in here again, and we'll size it back up. We'll put it roughly over top of them, and then we wanna move it backwards, so Control, and our bracket keys also could have used the position you menu right to move it behind him nudge it around to where you have it just behind him and then what you're going to do is now because it's an image because it's a png now we have this option and we come up to the adjust menu and we can add this nice blur so we have this really nice effect of making him pop out to the background now of course that's pretty aggressive so we could select it again and you can still come up here like do things like adjust the transparency, make it a little bit more subtle, okay? But that really does make them pop out from the background. And so for me, this is one of the few ways I still make use of these draw tools in Canva to make a photo really pop out like this. Although it does involve that extra steps now because you have to download and re-upload before you can blur something the way we did in this tutorial. But I'd love to hear from you. Do you make use of these draw tools in Canva? Do you think they're better or worse after the improvement? Let me know. How do you make use of this draw feature inside of Canva? All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.